Hi there, welcome to The Peaceful Home. If you're new here, I'm Teresa Elling. I am a professional organizer, parenting coach, and homeschool mom of six graduated kids. I love to talk about all things home and family. And today I am in my element, being able to do some DIY flips. These are um, thrifted items and items I've had for a long time, family heirlooms that I am going to transform. This is a way to decorate your home on a budget. Today's video is a collaboration with Jamie at Board or Bananas, and I am going to link below her channel as well as the playlist that will have all of the videos that are uploaded today as a part of Flippin' Friday. So the purpose of this collaboration is to transform a thrifted item, an item in your home, anything to give something new life. Today I have three projects for you. First of all, I thrifted this record a couple of weeks ago and I loved the vintage um, paintings on the front and I just knew I had to do something with them. The second thing is this little table. And while this one won't be a full tutorial, I will link below my video on how to chalk paint furniture. And then the third transformation will be of this dresser. This has been in my family for three generations. My grandparents brought it here from France and um, it is a beautiful piece and I'm going to do this one start to finish so you can see my whole process. So stay to the end so you can see the completion of this amazing project. If you are all about home and family, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and be part of the Peaceful Home family. Let's jump into these projects. This was such a fun and easy project. I just gathered all of my supplies, the record album I bought, an old hymnal that I had that the cover was falling apart on, and I pulled out Christmas pages, and some burlap, scissors, and a glue gun. I had a technical issue and I lost the beginning footage of this project, but what I did was I cut apart the record uh, cover and I made this little template in a banner shape and used that to cut each of the um, posters out. And then I used those as a template to cut out the music sheets. I had some burlap that I had thrifted a couple years back and after pressing it flat, I used the sheet music as a template and I just cut it about a quarter inch larger around each edge. I used a bead of hot glue to adhere the music and the cards to the top of the burlap. After completing all of these and deciding on the arrangement, I used another bead of hot glue to attach the string or twine to the top to make the banner. This would be a really fun project to do with kids using old Christmas cards and of course a low temp glue gun. And here's the finished project. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It's so simple and rustic looking and to me just feels so much like Christmas. And next up, we're going to renovate some furniture. Today, I'm going to refinish this dresser. I've been wanting to work on it for some time and I just decided I want it done before the holidays. I also wanted to point out that refinishing furniture is a great option for gift giving. I found this little table for $3 at a yard sale. And I redid this one with the chalk paint line from Waverly, which is found at Walmart. This is without a doubt the least expensive option. And I was really impressed with the quality. If you saw my chalk painted um, cabinet that I did a couple months ago, I will link that down below. That is a full tutorial on painting something with chalk paint, um, but that will give you all the tips and the steps that you need. But the paint that I used for this one, like I said, is Waverly. It comes in a variety of colors. It is so inexpensive and easy to use. 
It comes with different varieties of finish. I use this matte varnish, which I think just is beautiful. And it even has wax finishes, uh, clear and dark. And so again, look at my tutorials and watch the one today to get tips on how to use this. But wouldn't this be the cutest gift? It doesn't take much to find um, any type of wood furniture. Little tables are really easy to do. Even beautiful wood frames that are carved and have detail on them are beautiful with the chalk finish and wax. So if you're looking for a unique DIY for someone on your list, this is a great option. I'm going to get to work on this piece. This is um, a family heirloom. And for years, I was absolutely convinced that I would refinish this piece. I would never paint a piece like this, but I have changed my mind. My mind is changing about a lot of things lately, and I consider that a progression and stepping into some maturity. But with this, it is severely damaged, and I do not have um, the skill to fix the broken um, detailed pieces that are on here and to have this fully restored would be a significant amount of money now the thing is it may stay in the family for years but i thought for it to stay in this condition doesn't really do anyone any good it's in pretty bad shape so painting this piece is what i believe is the best option the first thing i'm doing is removing the damaged trim that's on the front like I said, I don't have the skill level for this intricate of woodworking. And so I'm going to remove the pieces that are damaged since I can't replace them. I've been using my spatula to gently lift and pull the finished uh, molding up. It's also pulling right out of the nails, so I'll need some pliers to pull all these mini nails out. And I'm just continuing to go to where I reach a nail and then kind of pry. Oh, this piece is coming up really nicely. Ah, oh, this is great. I noticed that one of the drawers had some splits in the back. And so this is a great time to make repairs. I'm using just some wood glue and kind of pushing it into the cracks, wiping the excess with a paper towel and then putting clamps down. And when you clamp it, a lot of times you squeeze the glue right out. So you may need to wipe again, um, but a couple of clamps should do it and I'll let that dry. Normally with chalk paint, you don't need to do any sanding or prep work, but I needed to smooth out where I had removed the molding, including the tops. And I'm going to clean the whole piece. I have um, some fill, some um, wood spackle that I put in, and I'll need to clean again after I sand, but I'm just going to do a really deep clean. There's a lot of just grunge on this piece, especially in the gaps, yuck. Because I filled in holes on the top with putty, I need to now sand all of that smooth. You'll notice I'm sanding indoors, and that's because it was freezing outside. I just wear a mask and I make sure to vacuum up everything, including the top of the piece. Then I put on Citra Strip. This is a product I love. It is completely safe for indoor use because it doesn't have any fumes, and it does an amazing job. You do have to let it sit for a bit, and do its magic, and then you can scrape off layers of paint, stain, and varnish. Normally I would use an inexpensive chip brush to spread this out, but I was too lazy to go to the garage, so I used an old toothbrush. After I've waited, I use a putty knife to begin scraping the stain and gunk off, and I just wipe it onto a brown paper bag. I'm trying a new paint for this project called Velvet Finishes by Kelly Smith. I found it online and I was very pleased with it. It is a little pricey, maybe not as much as Annie Sloan, but um, I really did love the texture. It went on very smoothly. Here I'm just putting the first coat on all of the drawer fronts. 
just going in the direction of the grain. I use a toothpick to make sure that I'm not getting paint dripped into the holes. I need those holes intact to put the handles back on. I just continue to paint each of the door fronts, um, getting at least one coat on the top um, as well. And because this paint doesn't have odor and most chalk paints don't, you can paint indoors, which I love to do while I'm watching a movie. And now I am tackling the base of the dresser, the sides, and I'm leaving the front, the top natural, so that's gonna stay. But I'm putting this coat on. Chalk paint almost always takes two coats, possibly three, but I did two for this project. Here I'm painting the front of the dresser. These are the pieces that are in between each drawer. And I just get a little bit on the top too, just with one coat. This shows what one coat looks like, and I will be doing a second coat. Finish the paint with some clear wax, and you just basically paint a layer on, and um, then let it dry. And the next day I came back and I just buffed it with a soft cloth and it just gets a very slight sheen and is really great for protection. Make sure you remove any specks because they will harden in the finish. The top is such a beautiful wood and I decided not to paint that, but to leave it natural. I didn't even put any stain on it. I just used the Waverly Matte Varnish and I did two coats on the top. You kind of have to move quickly, keeping a wet edge, and it, it dries very quickly. I was able to put a second coat on in less than 30 minutes. I was having a really hard time deciding what to do with the hardware, so I did a poll on social media. Should I paint it black? or keep it original as an antique brass. And the brass won out 60-40, so that's what I did. Here's a reminder of what this dresser looked like before, and here's what it looks like now. I am very pleased with this project. I just think it's beautiful, and I got it finished in time for the holidays. The real test will be what my dad thinks of it, since this dresser belonged to his grandparents. Hopefully he'll like it. This dresser really did turn out the way I had envisioned it in my head. And if you follow these steps, you can easily transform a piece of furniture into something beautiful for yourself or as a gift. And then this banner was just a lot of fun to do, and it just brings a nice Christmas touch into my home. I'm so glad you were able to join me for these three flip projects. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the description below and check out the other videos in the playlist. I also will be uploading videos every week, more content for Christmas, Christmas decor, Christmas traditions, and doing Christmas with kids. So be on the lookout for those videos to come. Thanks so much for joining me today.